This is our camper. It's a JK Swan. It's got the queen bed up the front here and double bed up the back there. Excuse the grass. I was mowing two weeks ago and uh, or last week I mean and somehow the air filter air cleaner came off and I ran it over. Yeah I don't know how. Unbelievable. It's got a few features. Okay. Out here we got the boot. Oh that's not the boot that's the um just a lockable lockable uh what how would you call it storage area and here's what they call a boot it opens up oh. opens up for storage they can fit a few things in there Have a little look inside. So your blinds on the doors. A bit of safety equipment there and a bit of stereo. Cupboards here on the right as soon as you come in. Oh, that sun might have buggered that up. I've turned the power off. The kids were sleeping in here. So we had guests over. So I'll walk up this end first. So all these windows zip down. They can have all good air through, a couple of fans and stuff. Oh, just let me spin around for a second. Sit on the bed. So we've got the table there. It's a good little stove. Microwave. Um, we use a stove for a couple of things, boiling the kettle if we don't, if we're out somewhere that doesn't have a campfire, which, yeah, we don't go to too many places that you can't have a fire. Uh, the, yeah, it's got the nice lounge. If you wanted to, you could put a partition in front of that lounge there. And that can become an extra bed. So, like I said, not in a mess. We've got girls are in here. Yeah, and up there's the queen bed up that end. That's not too bad. <laughs> got an air con. If you need it, we don't really hardly ever use it unless we're sitting at home. Uh, breeze is good enough most places we camp anyway have got a bit of water around us so we can always go for a swim doesn't matter what time day or night so down there it's got the little fridge and uh, the cupboards as well as uh, the storage space under that bench all these seats have got storage space underneath them also so you can see that there and over on that other side. Yeah, it's quite good. We sort of got this after after uh, our normal style camping, which is pretty basic. Um, sort of got a bit hard for me with my uh, back injuries. And we evolved to this. So since unfortunately, since my back crapped out again, not last year, year before, I'll, uh, if we do anything, I'll, I'll have to go to a van, a caravan. It's just, um, yeah, just the way life has sort of gotten for us at the moment. It's got the sink, so you can either, have, you can either hand pump the water, or you, we've got a pump, electric pump, runs off the batteries that are under the seat that I'm sitting on, under the lounge. Uh, that's the pump. Oh, yeah, still got power. The battery's still turned on. And there's a little self test to tell you how much water you've got in it. Excuse me, let me center you. How much water's in each tank? That's the two on the left. And then the voltage of the batteries are on the right. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Now let's turn this battery off. That shuts that all down. Uh, hot water, too. Hot water systems underneath the sink. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, oh well, it's down in there somewhere. Oh, there it is at the top. That's the hot water system. And on the back there, you can see the spare tire underneath the double bed. And then as you come down along the sides here, you've got your water fill point. 
I don't know if the sun's allowing you to see too much of that. There's your hot water system. Down in there, so you can turn it on by gas. Down here, there's your little pilot. There's your vent, where it comes out of. And then, just to the side of it, I haven't got it unlocked and the keys are inside. But uh, this is a little shower down in here, pulls out. And then you can set up your little shower tent and, and go from there. AM, FM radio, or CD player if you're that jazzed up. But yeah, we don't quite often use any music radio while we're out there. Awesome. Let's a good look at the Jayco Swan.